Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with the final flip through of my Yuletide 5 Ring Binder journal. I just wanted to do a final flip through and show you there may be a couple of things that you haven't seen here, um, but we'll just do a full, full flip through, even though we created this journal together. So um, we did the, did the uh, cover together, as you will recall. And the only thing that I've done to the cover since we've been together is I did put a little piece of burlap here. You can see there's burlap in the design. So I put a little piece of burlap and some flowers that had a little bit of um, gold spray on them. And um, I did that because now we've kind of got red, red, red. It's just more pleasing to the eye, I think. And I wanted to incorporate the burlap. So let's open it up. Of course, we've got gorgeous papers from Blue Fern Studio and Jen Bishop's design. This one is one of my favorites. I absolutely love that. So um, so then we start out, we've got a This Book Belongs To that I just made out of a cutoff and there's some lace there. I don't know if you're gonna see that flip out. So I'm gonna just kind of scooch over for a minute. Um, this, this little pocket has journal cards kind of stuck in the side here. It's got journal cards in this pocket and then some, um, some just coffee dyed tags and then a big journal card on the edge. So that's a fun pocket. It's got lots of spots to tuck things. Then this one, a um, couple of tags just made from cutoffs of the, of the kit or the collection. And then this one is, as you can see, it's kind of, it's the same as this, but in the eight by eight. And I just made a journal card from it. So that can be journaled on the back. So that goes there. And then we flip back over. Let me make sure I'm situated. And then on the other side, I just have a long pocket with some coffee dyed paper there. This side, um, we've got some beautiful coffee dyed paper. This is one of the journal cards from the collection. And then a dyed tag just in back. And then um, I created a pocket with this. And so we've got um, a journaling card that is an index card, but we've got the um, piece of ephemera and then some of the lace from the collection as well. So that slides right in there. Here we have a cage belly band, which I have made from the branding strips from the paper. And I've got these little people on a sleigh that are peeking out. And then we've got a journal card with, um, with the other little people peeking out. So we've got two couples slaying and they're just peeking through the, the belly bands. Um, this side, we have some lace from the collection. So a double belly band. We've got one of the journal cards here and then, um, and then a big journal card here. So there's that page. This page, um, is an envelope and, um, I've done a little of the gold spraying on it. We've got a side pocket here that's embellished with one of the ephemera pieces. I just used a little Tim Holtz face in there and then one of the journal cards also slips in there. We've, I've got the, the piece of the ephemera that is um, holding down the flap. And then we've got this little um, matchbook uh, notepad that is also embellished with the ephemera and then just a big journaling card in there as well. Lots of journaling space in this, even though it's decorated, decorated, there's much, much journaling space to be had. So here's my mosaic piece that was made out of pa uh, paper scraps from the collection. I 
made them into hexagons and did a mosaic collage there. This side, I did the opposite. I've got a piece of the scrapbook paper behind and then black card stock and then a piece from the collection and then another uh, big index card to journal on. This beautiful page, it just made such a great page all on its own and then you can journal on the back. This page ha has double pockets. So it's got a pocket behind and I just made tags out of my scraps that I had of different cutoffs from other things in the journal. Okay, and this side we've got the got the little banner. I added a piece of um of trim at the top from the collection that I I didn't do that on camera, I don't think. Then this little journal card, this little lady peeks out right here. That was made from the 8 by 8 pieces of the collection. We have this page once again embellished. It's got a little pocket and a journaling card. And then this coffee dyed paper I sewed around using my leaf uh, stitch, but then I colored in the um, leaves to look like Christmas lights. This is a big pocket made out of the scrapbooking paper. Uh, once again, there's an index card and it's got a tab from one of the scraps. So beautiful. I love this paper so much. This is an 8x8 eight eight, uh, piece, and I've just folded it in half to make a pocket for one of the journaling cards. And this is an old piece of a file folder. Uh, this piece here was the waste if you will when i cut out the hexagons for the mosaic and so i just used it as a piece of trim then we have a big journaling card tucked down in the file folder for journaling but of course you can you can journal here and on the back of the folder too some paper this is from paper baker creations so is this I used a little Believe and some ephemera and one of the trims from the collection. Lots of journaling space there. This page is an envelope that flips this way. And there is also, there's a journaling card here and then an index card here. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um... And then this flips out and there is uh, the envelope flap is a pocket for another one of the journaling cards. This little piece with a couple of pieces of the ephemera. Little writing page there. This is one of the chipboard pieces that I colored with markers and then embossed with clear embossing powder. Little um, pocket in the back here. And then this beautiful piece of paper is from uh, Triple V Vintage. It has it signed. And then we've got the little piece that helps it to close better. Um, I just covered the original piece with a piece of the um, scrapbooking paper. So that is my Yuletide journal. I'm really happy with how it's turned out and I'm glad that we were able to do it on video together. So thank you so much. This will be showing up in my Etsy shop um, in the days to come, but I just wanted to do a final flip through and then I can, um, I can send off all the information to Blue Fern Studios and we have yet another project that is all done. So thank you so much for watching. Have a grateful day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.